still trying to forget. It's not like I was a loser. It's not like I didn't pass. See, it has to do with what happened to Jorge, our class pet. <laughs> we had this tradition on every Friday. One of us was picked to take him home. Exciting, right? So I finally asked Miss Adams, could this be my day? I thought maybe if I'm verbal, I can go home with this gerbil tonight. My dad was allergic, and my mom was neurophobic. It's a real thing. I knew exactly what the situation would require. My mom showed up for carpool. I put Jorge in my pocket. I forgot about him till our nanny found him in the dryer. Whoops! <laughs> I've been sick the whole next week, too afraid to tell all my friends that poor Jorge was dead. Katie Thompson told me that all killers burn in hell, but Miss Adams took <laughs> my hand and explained. Oh, life goes on, things will be okay. Graduation, that momentous life shift. Watching the guys in my front ask my grandma out on dates. My dad hands me this paper, his graduation gift. The only documentation of his parents' immigration to the States. He looks at me with pride and says, I'd like for you to have it. Because your heritage can teach you more than what you've learned in class. Well, I misplaced the paper, but that night at Beta's party, my friend was drunk and found it just in time to wipe his... <laughs> we packed the car and headed home, and things were great till I told my family their gift had been stained. <laughs> Grandma said a prayer for me, Mom began to cry, but my father stopped the car and explained. Oh. Mm -hmm. 